The Oscars are coming up this Sunday night. It's a big night. It's right here on ABC 10, and we sure do hope you'll tune in because it's going to be fun. And just in time for Regal Cinemas to reopen two area theaters in Sacramento and Stockton, Mortal Kombat, the big intergalactic action movie, Marquez Allen, who looks like director uh, Cecil B. DeMille, he is uh, in front of a theater. Tell us what's right. happening with all this, my friend. Stand by in background, cue background, ready camera B, and action. And stuff a director would be saying. Let's talk about the Academy Awards. Honestly, one of the most unique years in Academy Award history, and largely the movies displayed on Sunday night, many of you will not have been seeing because they're not the big action type movies. Mortal Kombat, on the other hand, is the kind of movie you're gonna see and you're gonna wanna see on a big, big screen. When I caught up with the cast, that's exactly what we talked about. Take a look. Dragon marking. I think it's an invitation to fight for something known as Mortal Kombat. A sure sign theaters are bracing for a big comeback. Big new movies on the big screen like Mortal Kombat. I couldn't hide my joy when I caught up with the cast. I will never forget the first movie back from pandemic I saw and uh, so thankful it was this. Love the movie. Congratulations on it, you too. Thank you so oh, much. Thank you. We, you know, we shot this movie on very special lenses, these anamorphic lenses that's meant to be seen on a screen like that, on an IMAX screen. So uh, I'm so glad you got to, to have that chance to experience it. I'm Liu Kang. With Todd Brooks, yes, Jax knew it was special the moment he hit set. I was just kind of standing in my position and I was like looking down at my costume and looking across the way at the alley with all the smoke and all, and the crew was there. And, and uh, there was Joe in, in his Sub-Zero costume. And I was like, this is what I visualized. Wow. <laughs> and it was this really surreal moment of, of just, um, uh, just, just almost like this wormhole of me just remembering this is what I've, this is what I've been dreaming of. Jessica McNamee, that Sonya Blade brings the best action and can't wait to share it, while her co-star Josh Lawson, Kano, agrees. I think I'm really excited for people to see the fight between Kano and Sonya at the end of the movie. I think, well, towards the end, yeah. I think I'm really excited for people to see that on the big screen. And you must have felt it, right? Everything we did was in service to making that it as visually epic as possible. Kano wins. to be seen on those big big screens mortal kombat now you can also see it on hbo max you know how i remember to tell you about that because moments ago an innocent passerby said hey you guys talking about mortal kombat indeed we are sir what's your name reggie all right so tell me what you were telling uh tell them what you were telling me moments ago well i seen so last night on hbo max they uh showed the uh first seven minutes of the movie and uh, it was action packed, it was real good. So I'm excited to see how the uh, dynamic of the uh, Scorpion and Sub-Zero and how that storyline plays out. And he and I are gonna be talking about this for the next two hours. Uh, also swapping into that chair in a moment, an Oscar expert. We will be previewing the Oscars and making predictions this Sunday night. Do you have any Oscar predictions, sir? I don't know nothing about the Oscars. That's what, that's what I'm trying to tell you. That's exactly what I was just telling these people. Right, Walt? Uh, <laughs> movie critic Reggie, who just wandered onto the set, and he hit a home run. Okay, Marquez Allen. Love it. All right.